Well, really happy about getting the win tonight. Uh, fired up that the, we got to do it here to clinch the division uh, in front of the 12 so they can enjoy it too. Um, we, we played this game uh, hoping that the defense was going to play like they did. They, they had a great night and uh, did everything we expected they could do. Uh, rushed the passer, kept the running game down, uh, played really well on third down and, and uh, you know, made, made it hard on the young quarterback. And, and so that, that's really, we wanted to play off of that and uh, it worked out really well for us. Um, the greens look good. Still wearing a little green. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. I thought it looked awesome. Um, players had a good time uh, celebrating that as well. Um, I thought uh, it was a nice, nice uh, bounce back night for uh, for Russ. Uh, came back and had a really good night. It's too bad the, the one throw was nuts, uh, the last one. But other than that, he played a really good football game. I know everybody's wondering what you know what happened last week, uh, but he showed you who he is and what he's all about once again. Uh, really fired up for uh, for Tyler Lockett. Uh, he was on fire tonight and, and just looked great. Um, and, and did a nice job in return game too, really pressing it and giving us a shot every time they kicked it to him. Um, so uh, this was the night about defense, uh, championship night, and they rose it to the occasion and played great. And the offense found, found the yards we needed and uh, rushed through three touchdowns and um, really just was a fun night at the stadium. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Seems like Russ has always had a knack for if something's going wrong, fixing it. Did it, it, it surprise you at all? But no, 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 we really were counting on it. Uh, they, they, those guys are really tough up front. You saw how hard it was for us to run the football. We were determined to keep doing it. It was all part of this night, and, and uh, we, didn't, we didn't do very well. Um, obviously, the play of the night was John Ryan's play. Um, we, we were counting on that for our rushing yardage for the night. <laughs> we got a chance, and so that, that helped us. Um, that was a crazy play. Um, but it was beautifully designed by the coaches and, and uh, the special teams, Brian Schneider and the guys. They did a great job. It was really a play that, uh, uh, that Nick Sorensen had been involved in years ago, and, and so uh, uh, Nick had a nice contribution to that as well. So it was really fun to see that happen. It worked exactly like we had hoped, um, and the situation was right. But I thought that was the play of the night. Are you going to work on his landings? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> We didn't work on the finish of that play. We did everything else. You know, we practiced long yards. We thought we might make you know big, big gain and all, but we didn't practice the finish hitting the ground. He did not do that well, and, and uh, the ball all of a sudden looked like it was greased. I don't know what happened. How's he doing after the game? Um, he, he got he got a concussion. Um, so we're we're gonna check him out and take him to the hospital and all that. So um, he was pretty loopy. So it's unfortunate. Is it his call to see what happens on the rush? No. Uh, Mike, um, Mike feels fine. Um, he, he wrenched his neck, wasn't, wasn't a uh, hit, hit to the head. And uh, we're, we're going to check him out, but he felt fine afterward. And uh, um, so we'll see what happens with that. Should be okay. How nice was it to see the pass rush get home after? Yeah, it was great. Season? It was a big night. You know, five sacks and a bunch of different guys contributing. Um, the blitzes were really good. Chris did a great job calling it tonight and mixing it up. Um, the fellas are really coming off the football. That's that's the pass rush that we that we love, you know, and we expect from our guys. That went kind of quiet for us uh, for a while, but um, I, we're going to ride these guys down the stretch here and, and see if we can really get them hot to uh, heading towards the playoffs. And and uh, so it was a really good night for all the whole group. What made you go with Tyler Lockett even in the two receiver sets tonight? Just want to see him more. Really, he's been he's been so good, and we just want to see more of him and <coughs> see if uh, you know if he continued to. Um, create impact and he certainly did so it's a good decision you touched on the third down what was different tonight just just hit it right you know on both sides of the ball we were really good on defense tonight too um big third down and fourth down stops and all um offensively i think we're 50 percent again you know it's two weeks in a row so there's some things coming together here and we, we we have a lot of a lot of improvement yet to make here and and fortunately we have a couple more games uh, before playoff time and we can see if we can uh Continue to you know just clean things up. You, you said you expected this from Russell and, and all that. Was there any di difference in him at all this week? From no, that? no, no. It was nothing different the week before. He he had a uh, great preparation the week before and and this week as well. He's really got a great routine that we really admire the way he does it and, and the intention to you know, to get everything right every week and and. Uh, you know, there's a lot of quarterbacks that had nights like that. You know, as we learned this week through you guys documenting it and all of that. Um, you know, so. He bounced back just the way we thought, and the way you, you all expected to, I would, I would imagine. What, what's the significance of winning the division? Uh, it's, I think it's a huge significance um, in, in, in terms of consistency. And uh, it's something we, you know, that we, we really do take great pride in um, because of the implications for the playoffs.
is really what that's all about. You know, the division allows you to have a, a home game in the playoffs, which why wouldn't you want to play here? You know, so we really focus on 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 getting to the point where we have a chance to to win this thing so that we can get home, and and then you just keep going and see how many times you can be able to play at home at this point. So, um, but it's really about the consistency, and you know that's something that I that it's really uh, important. I think as we look at our program, do, do we continue to show that we're up there and we can continue to keep coming back? Um, I think that's about as good as you can do in sports. How would you describe this path to this division title this season as compared to some other? It, it has been strange, and, and you know it's been different than any of the years that we've had. Uh, other teams in the, in, the, in the division have struggled, and uh, so it made it available to us in a sense. Even with the play that it, we, you know we're not as, as happy about, uh, you know having four losses at this time, you know. Um, and there, you know, I think I'm going to games we, that have been so close and stuff like that as well. You know, save the, uh, the Packer thing, but um, uh, it, 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 it's just we've just been out in front the whole time, you know. And, and so we we knew that and we were working with that. Uh, but the good part about it is here we have a couple more games left and we can continue to work at it and, and see if we can really uh, you know, develop some momentum and some really better play and, 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 and already know that you're going. You know? I'm anxious to see how we do that. I, you know, do, do you get a little complacent or something because you won? That's something that is, is the challenge that I like taking on and I like to see if our guys can handle it. It's really important that we continue to push to get better and, and we'll find out how we do that when we play the Cardinals a week from now. Can you directly hone in on... Hey, we can get a first round buy, and that's still out there. And all that. Don't, I don't. No, no. We go, we go to the Cardinals game, and that stuff will take care of itself. We can't do anything about it. We would, we'll focus exactly on that which we control, and, and that is playing and preparing well for the next game. And, and uh, good thing we're going to get a three day break for our guys. So we're going to really break them here and uh, get a, a good bounce back opportunity. The Thursday thing is a great challenge, as Sherman pointed out for the for the players. <laughs> Um, and, and he's right about that. He, he's he's right about that. However, you do on the other the flip side of it is to, is Friday, Saturday, Sunday off is a big deal for these guys physically, and and uh, we're gonna try to take full advantage of that. Speaking of Richard, it seemed like right before uh, that touchdown pass to Doug, that he was pretty hot. He's, he's fired up. up. He's yeah. fired up. Yeah, it's What's good. Well, I, between what he was saying and what Doug was saying, uh, Doug was saying, give me the ball, and Richard was saying something else. And th I needed those two guys to go sit down and have a little time out and talk it over and figure it out what we should do next. Was Darryl the, involved? Was involved in that? No, answer? no, it was nothing. It was just guys being fired up. Doug yeah. shouting back and forth, was there something about a play call? I don't know. I don't know. Doug I'm Doug not going to give you that. I don't know. I don't have a clue. Doug Shaw, some pretty good footwork on that touchdown. Oh, what, gosh, what a gorgeous a release, job, man. What a, yeah, he's got extraordinary quickness and body control, and, and uh, he showed you. That was an incredible release, and, and uh, it really looked so easy afterward, but to get off the ball like that, uh, he's got a great knack. With Sherman's outburst, is that the edge you like, or is that over the line? Uh, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not even worried about it one bit. Not one bit. I don't know. Um, I talked to him on the sidelines, and he was jacked up and ready to go, and he went out and played a good series after that. Um, I, what was said in there doesn't it doesn't matter it, I know you would love to know more you'll probably figure out more but I don't care right now that was one of our guys who's got as much much uh, emotion and passion for this game as, as you could ever want and uh, sometimes it, it goes one way where you gotta, you gotta reel it back in and he did exactly that he did a nice job of coming back to poise and and, uh, and finished the game really well what did you see out of your offensive line tonight well I gotta look at the film you know I, I thought uh, it was hard it was hard, and we know that these guys are really good, and we give them great uh, credit, and we have a lot of respect for these guys uh, for obvious reasons. And uh, uh, we did not run the ball at all like we had hoped to, but we ran it as much as we wanted to. If we wanted to run it 30 times tonight, we hit it right on the mark. So um, we'll, we'll take a look. We'll Gary, you, you went to Gary in the fourth quarter. Was that an injury thing or just? No, no, it was uh, uh, we wanted to make sure that he got some play time. So it's really this competition I mentioned to you is still on. And uh, I'm anxious to see the film and compare the two, and next week we'll figure out what we do next. I, I can't tell you right now. Sorry. You mentioned the extra rest going into the next game. You also have eight days to prepare for your final game. At, at this stage of the season, just what's the significance of that? And then how do you actively take advantage of that? That's a good question. Um, 
We're going to do what we do. You know, we're going to do exactly what we've been doing. Uh, we faced this one up like this was a championship game opportunity. We've been talking about championship games. Every one of them that we've approached this season has been exactly the same. And so that when it comes this time, we play like we're capable. And, and uh, I think that's what you saw tonight. We didn't go outside of ourselves at all. Uh, nobody got whacked out. We had, you could see that we were a little bit jittery up front. Uh, with That's, I think, probably due to the respect we have for those guys coming off the ball. Um, we'd like to fix that and clean that up. But really, it doesn't matter what the game is. We're going to try as hard as we can to put together the, the best game plan, pre prepare each day, one day at a time, to get ourselves as sharp and clean as we can get to go to the next game. And then it just happens to be the Cardinals this week. And then it's the Niners. And then we're going to whomever it is. you know. And that's, that's the way we'll do it as long as they'll let us keep playing. And it doesn't matter whether it's a division or a conference or a, or a Super Bowl championship. It's the same thing. Was that as good a uh, accuracy on your challenge throw? That you've had in a while? Or? Yeah, I, I put a little, put a little juice on that a couple times. You know, I was, hey, I would have been cool to get three straight, but it was worth the try. I don't even. You guys probably saw it better than I did, but it was close enough. That I, let's go for the hat trick. With Lockett, I know he's been back to full speed for a while, but how different does he look compared to earlier in the year when he was still? Having oh yeah, he he was not 100 percent, and. Uh, so we just had to work. He, he could play, and he was safe to play and all of that, but he was not 100%. And we just worked our way through it and, and used him accordingly. And I think the trainers and everybody worked with him, and he had a great attitude about it. He was not going to miss a game. And, and so was, when he returned to full speed, we've tried to you know, and, and get him more engaged in, in the action, and uh, tonight was a good illustration of that. What did you think of Bobby Wagner's play tonight in general, what, what he and, and KJ have meant to the defense? Uh, you know, I don't know who made that. Uh, somebody told me we had 11 tackles for losses tonight. Um, that's a, that's extraordinary. And uh, Bobby has had a, a great season up to this point. And, and uh, it's just through the consistency and his knowledge of the scheme and playing with his guys. And KJ has gone. They've gone right together, shoulder to shoulder, the whole time. And they haven't missed a trick. All I mean, nothing all year long. Uh, it's been fantastic to see them, you know, play in concert with with the scheme and the principles and the intensity and the focus and the, all of that stuff. That's who those guys are. Um, and we, we could not expect guys to play better than those two guys were playing. It seemed like Michael Bennett was kind of all the way back tonight. Oh, he was roaring tonight. The sack he had before the, um, the um, uh, whatever, the penalty. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, he knows better, too, doggone it. But anyway, um, that was an extraordinary save. He looked like he was shot out of a cannon coming off the edge, you know, and, and a fantastic play. And he came right back with another one. That's the kind of stuff that we've seen from Mike that just blows you away, that you know, he can continue to come up with the creativity and, and the, the savvy to make that stuff happen. I mean, terrific. What is your understanding of the legality of the sack <laughs> There, there is, there is a, a theme here that we know, and um, I'm not going to talk about it. I, I gain nothing by having any fun with this moment, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. I do have an understanding, though. I'll tell you that. I have an understanding. On the fake punt, given the score and the time left, why was that the right time to call it? We looked for it all night. We were looking for the chance all night long, and it finally popped up. And, and uh, uh, Brian and, uh, and I were talking about it the whole night, and it didn't matter what the situation was. We were going to do it. And going into the game, I was hoping we get a chance because I thought we were going to need the rushing yards. <laughs> to tell you the truth. The first, the challenge on the fourth down play was a pretty big play. I mean, did you see that all along, or the spot on that? The, their fourth down play that you got. The one we got. Um, everybody upstairs was on it. We, we, the whole system that we go through, and the guys, you know, going through the process of, of evaluating what they can see and all of that. Everybody was in concert. So um, we were a little split on the on the one we didn't get. Um, that, that they wouldn't overturn it. Now, you, again, you guys saw more than I did. You know, I just was going with what I saw originally, and then what what they uh, the information they supported the thought for. That, that early in the game. Was I was, it was lousy. I was so upset because they were just, you know, I, that I had to do it because we, the first two of them, we knew we were right on those and we just had to blow them to get it done, you know, and unfortunately, you know, we, it just came out that you could see that, you know, the ball wasn't spotted exactly right. Anything else? Thank you. See you.